The following video is sponsored by Shenandoah Georgia Youth Science and Technology Center. Hi, I'm Dr. Donald White, and this is iScience. Today's demonstration is elephant toothpaste. I have with me Mr. Chris Sewell from East Coweta High School, who's going to help us out with this reaction. Today's reaction does require us to wear personal protection equipment, like safety goggles and our lab coat. Today's reaction is the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Mr. Sewell, you want to tell us about the reaction that we have today? Yes, this reaction is going to use a catalyst to uh, break down hydrogen peroxide into oxygen. That's going to create the bubbles in the tower and um, foam, essentially. Uh, now, I've seen hydrogen peroxide before when you put it on like a cut. Yeah, it bubbles like that too, doesn't it? This reaction is going to be basically that same reaction, but it's that reaction on steroids. In living organisms, it uses catalase, an enzyme produced by that organism, to break down hydrogen peroxide, just like we're going to see here today. But we're going to use potassium iodide instead. All right, well, let's get to, to this reaction. The secret ingredient in today's reaction is dishwashing soap. So I'll add a little bit of that in there. Hydrogen peroxide is uh, available readily, uh, but this is 30% hydrogen peroxide. It's about 10 times the concentration of the hydrogen peroxide that's in your medicine cabinet or underneath your sink at home. So you can't get this one at home. I'll add a little bit of that in there. And Mr. Sewell is going to add our catalyst. Three, two, one. And there it goes. You can see the uh, brown that is forming in there. That is iodine as a result of the catalyst that's going on in there. The bubbles are really, really small. And it looks to me like elephant toothpaste. <coughs> Fumes that you see coming off of that is steam. There's heat being produced as a byproduct because this is an exothermic reaction. And this is one of my favorite demonstrations that I've, I've done in my classroom. The foam will keep being produced as long as there is hydrogen peroxide and a potassium iodide to react in the bottom to produce the foam and the bubbles. Well, that was the elephant toothpaste reaction. Uh, Mr. Sewell, I want to thank you for joining us today on iScience. Thank you for having me. And I want to invite the rest of you to tune in next time to iScience on CowitaTV.com. The I in iScience stands for interactive. We produce the show with you in mind. So if you have any questions or demonstrations that you'd like to see, please send me an email and I'll get them on the air for you.